right where I parked the van, there are all these purple flowers. And the bumblebees are all over these. I'm trying to find some regular honeybees to start maybe trying to track where the nest is. But I think these uh, purple ones are bergamots. But um, let me see if we can count how many honeybees, how many bumblebees. That was one. Ready, go. There he is. So that's one. Uh, if I zoom out, I can get another one. It's hard to spot from the camera. Oh, there's one. There, there he is. Uh, that's two. If I pan over here, that's three. So quite a few, and just by just by looking in the area, I'm gonna look with my eyes and not the camera. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, six right here in this general area, just foraging. So that's that's pretty cool so but right now I'm just looking for regular regular bees but it's good to see that I have have a good amount of bumblebees around um, I might look about trying to make a nest for them All right, so this is the first honeybee of the day. What time is it? 4.46. 4.46 in the evening. And this is a f in the afternoon, sorry. And this is the first one I have seen so far. Now, granted, it was raining. It's, it's been raining on and off all day. So this is probably... Where do you go? And here's another little bee trying to get in the, just get in on the action. But clearly intimidated by the honeybee. I think this floor is the bergamot. I'll see. So, but at least he found his way here. So I'm gonna set up my bee experiment soon, since they're out now. I set up on the van a sugar and water solution, and I have my paints for tracking. So, doing a little experiment, but no one's taking the bait. I might put them right beside the flowers and see. I set up, I set up my little feeding container right there in the middle. Uh, but nobody seems to be taking the bait. So... I'm uh, leave it there for a little bit. And if not, I'm going to make it higher and then push it in the middle. Alright, hi. So, along with the bee experiment again, um, there are still a lot of bumblebees around doing their thing. But um, they're totally ignoring my sweet stuff here. Um, so, if I can show you. 
there's one bee there. It's not very far from this. And he's just totally ignoring it. He's a flower guy and not a sweet, sugary guy. The people who are just kind of chilling out on it is a fly and an ant. They're kind of having a sit, chill out time. Mm -mm. So, I guess I'll figure out how to attract these to this thing a little bit later on. We gotta go now, so I ran out of time for this experiment, but I need something else to attract them because they're around foraging, but they're not interested in this. So, until next time, continuing. Let's go check on the plants. And then there is this weird bug. I don't know who he is. I'll find out who he is later. Oh, that's a beautiful picture right there. Uh, that's the dragonfly I was trying to focus on. So. Just chilling on this, uh, this leaf here. The wind doesn't seem to bother him much. Just readjusted. Perfect picture. There. I was trying to get him. There are also a lot of dragonflies around. So here's another one. He was hiding out under, under here. He's resting there. You can see the, the wings. Let's see if I can get a close closer oh look at you you're so pretty and there's one hanging right hanging out right beside this black eye Susan there he is uh, there's a grass blade in the way but there he is kind of just hanging out yeah I was able to get closer to him and I got him so he's red Oh, he almost left. A red dragonfly. Awesome. There's another bug. Chilling on the Queen Anne's lace. Oh. Looks like he's eating. What? I think he's just having a meal. What? The bug that I'm focusing on right now. Okay, what is that? Can someone help me identify this thing? Could be a butterfly. Where'd he go? There he is. Where'd he go? <laughs> uh, there he is. Oh, there he is. I gotta get better at this. 